Let's talk about some various career paths in IT. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some various career paths associated with IT according to the CompTIA IT website. So let's get into it. All right. The first thing you want to do is go visit CompTIA.org. That's C O M P T I A dot o r g and this will be what the home page looks like at the very top you want to go ahead and click on the resources tab and on the resources tab you're going to look all the way to your right and you're going to click on the career map so as you see as we get here to this page here it's going to say it says in interested in advancing your career in it let's start exploring so let's go ahead and click on some of these these pictures here so we have IT support specialist, IT networking specialist, cybersecurity specialist, software and web developers, and data specialists. Now, these are just basically broad categories to describe certain roles that may fall up under that category. So let's just kind of click on something to kind of give us a general idea about what these people do and about how much money they make. So if you click on the first one, it says, what does an IT support specialist do? It says IT support specialists install software, set up computer workspaces and solve technical issues that arise on a day to day basis. The median national salary is around fifty thousand nine hundred eighty one dollars annual annual job postings, two hundred and thirty thousand plus and expected job growth of 13 percent. You have a IT networking specialist. What do they do? Networking specialists support the company's internal servers, including desktop computers and other network devices. Median national salary is $75,000, $155,000 plus annual job postings, expected job growth of 9%. You have cybersecurity specialists. What do they do? A cybersecurity professional scopes out vulnerabilities, detects cyber threats, and implements changes to protect an organization. Median salary is about ninety eight thousand dollars, one hundred and sixty five thousand annual job postings, expected job growth of twenty five percent. We have software web developers, a software developer designs and creates applications, systems or websites that run on a computer or another device. Median national salary is about one hundred and five thousand dollars, over one million annual job postings for software and web developers. Expected job growth is around 19 percent. Then we have data specialists. A data specialist analyzes data for many different end results and communicates their findings to others in the organization. The median national uh, salary is around ninety thousand dollars, eighty seven thousand plus annual job postings and expected job growth of 13 percent. So let's go ahead and dig a little deeper into these categories to see what the beginning mid-range and so-called expert level is looking like out in these streets. All right. So we already went over IT support specialists. They do a lot of troubleshooting and things of that nature. So if we look at this here, it says for a beginner, the median annual salary is around 39,000, 83,000 plus job postings. And um, this says you need about three certs to get into this. You click on the intermediate here. We're looking at about $47,000 for an intermediate position, 53,000 job postings and about four certifications, advanced, 59,000, um, 11,000 job postings. You need about four certifications for that. And if you scroll down, it'll actually show you some of the certif certifications associated with each job title. So you got the IT support specialist certifications. If you look at the orange dots here, those are the ones that are recommended to become an IT support support specialist at the beginner stage. So they're recommending the CompTIA IT fundamentals, the CompTIA A plus, and then some partner certifications. If you look at the intermediate, they're recommending you got to have the you got to have the uh, beginner ones, obviously, but they're also recommending you get the CompTIA Network Plus and the Security Plus, and then some other partner certifications, and then you get to the advanced. They want you to have obviously the beginning and the intermediate, but they also want you to have the CompTIA a, a Linux Plus and the Service Plus, and then some other partner certifications on that level. 
So if we go to the networking specialists, as we can see the beginning, intermediate and advanced salaries, you got the beginning salary of averaging around 61,000. This is just the national average. This is not necessarily a guarantee of what you will be making starting off. This is just, they took all the salaries around the country and just came up with the average number. So you're looking at around 61,000 for a median beginner salary with about 23,000 job postings and about five certifications intermediate. You're looking at $74,000 a year with about 56,000 job postings and 11 certs. Advanced, you're looking at around $85,000 and 28,000 job postings with about eight certifications. We scroll down. You'll see with the beginner certifications, they want you to have A+, plus, Net+, plus, Security+, plus, and some partner certs to get into an intermediate role as an IT networking specialist. They want you to have, in addition to the beginning search, they want you to have uh, Project Plus, uh, CompTIA Cloud Essentials Plus, CompTIA Linux Plus, Server Plus, and some partner search. And then for the advanced, they want you to have CompTIA Cloud Plus and some, some other partner certifications. All right, let's look at the cybersecurity specialists. The beginning uh, median annual salary for a cybersecurity specialist will be around $80,000 with about 18,000 job postings and about two certifications to get started. Intermediate, we're looking at around $94,000 with about 53,000 job postings and about six certifications available at that level. Then the advanced, you're looking at around $105,000, about 44,000 job postings and about two certifications to be considered advanced. So let's scroll down. Look at cybersecurity for cybersecurity beginning. They prefer that you have or they recommend that you have Network Plus, CompTIA Security Plus, and then partner certifications uh, for intermediate. They want you to have Project Plus. They want you to have the CompTIA CYSA Plus and then the CompTIA Pen Test Plus in addition to some partner certifications. And then the advanced, they want you to have the CompTIA CAS Plus or the CASP Plus and some other relevant partner certifications. Now, the one certification that you need to be uh, weary of when entering cybersecurity, especially if you're going to be working for any type of government job or doing government contracting, you're going to have to have that Security Plus certification. That's that's almost a uh, that's a requirement for pretty much any government job when you're dealing with cybersecurity is to get that cybersecurity certification. Let's look at software and web developers. When we scroll down. We get to the annual median salary for beginners. They're looking at around $81,000 with about 135,000 job postings and about four certs for the beginning level. Intermediate, we're looking at around $98,000 with about 339 job postings and about six certs for the intermediate level. And the advance is around $107,000 a median annual salary. 223,000 job postings and about six certifications at the advanced level. Scroll down. We can see the beginners. They want you to have, or they prefer you to have the CompTIA IT fundamentals and then some relevant partner certifications, uh, intermediate, some partner certifications and advanced, some partner certifications. So basically what this is, is if you're dealing with software development, you're going to be doing, doing things like coding, or you're going to have to learn Python or Java or C++ or some, some other cert. CompTIA doesn't really deal with certs like that when it comes to programming. Um, they mainly deal with primarily a lot of certs that align you with networking and going into cybersecurity. So that's why you see so few certs checked off on this block right here as it relates to software and web development. And data specialists. So the median annual salary for a beginner is around $63,000. You'll have about 19,000 job postings and there'll be about three certifications you're expected to have at that level. Intermediate, you're looking at around $78,000, 29,000 job postings and about four certifications for that level. Advanced, you're looking at around $90,000 about 10,000 job postings, and you're looking at having about four certifications to be considered advanced. So let's scroll down. And it's kind of the same way with the uh, data. So you look at the beginners, they want you to have uh, CompTIA IT fundamentals and some partner certifications. And then for advanced, 
and intermediate, they want you to have relevant partner certifications that specifically deal with dealing with databases. All right. So this is some of the information that you guys can learn. Like I said, you just visit comptia.org, scroll to the top, hit resources, and you come down and hit the career roadmap. And then it'll lead you to this web page right here with all of these people. And like I said, you got IT support specialists, networking specialists, cybersecurity specialists, software and web developers, and data specialists. These are just pr pretty much broad categories that um, certain job titles and certain job roles would fall up under. So if you're working at a help desk, click clacking away, plugging in network cables, you would fall up under the IT support specialist. If you got your CCNA and you're in the back in the in the closet somewhere, plugging up the routers and the switches and configuring those things, you would fall up under the the IT networking specialist branch. Cybersecurity, you're out there uh, trying to defend your network from being hacked or your databases from being hacked or your servers from being hacked, or you're out there trying to hack into a company's system because they hired you to find vulnerabilities, you would be you would fall up under the cybersecurity lane. Software and web developers, you're out there developing apps or you're developing functionalities for websites, then you're going to be up under the software web developers. And then data specialists, you're dealing with big data, you're dealing with any type of data, databases, et cetera, you'll fall up under that branch as well. So that's kind of just gives you guys a general idea of how some of these various career uh, fields and our branches, however you want to label it, kind of break down in IT and also gives you an idea of the type of income people earn, you know, just taking the average national salaries that people earn across the board. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We just got finished going over the CompTIA.org website, looking at various career paths in IT. Hopefully this kind of gets you inspired to want to do a little bit more research into figuring out exactly which lane in IT do you have the most interest in so that you can begin your uh, journey towards becoming that particular IT professional. And if you want help, as always, you can visit my website, Technology G, where I have an IT fundamentals course up on the website right now. And I'll be adding an A plus, Net plus and Security plus course over the uh, coming months so, so that you guys can get caught up to date and go successfully go out there and pass these certifications so you can get your career on and popping in the wonderful world of IT. Also, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave me some comments down below and I will address them when I get time. But um, I don't want to seem like I'm ignoring questions because I'm not. I do have a rather busy schedule. But regardless of all that, just leave me some questions down below and I will address your concerns either with a direct comment or I'll make a video and express my thoughts to you in a video format. And that's all I have to say about this right now. So once again, this is your boy Tech G of technologyg.com. Hit the uh, subscribe button and all that great, wonderful stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.